Good morning, friends and family. Welcome back to Behind Closed Doors with your host, Mildred. On today, I decided to learn how to do embroidery. I purchased my sewing machine last year and I have not had the opportunity to open it up and um, work on it to figure out exactly how to do embroidery. Well, today is the day. I've had several requests of um, jobs that people wanted me to do to embroider um, logos on their t-shirts and different things like that. And I said, you know what, let me take the time out and try to learn this machine so that I'm able to do those things. This machine is a brother's machine, SE600. So I'm learning how to navigate through it. I went on YouTube, I looked at a couple of YouTubers um, to learn how to operate this machine. I also read the user operations manage manual and um, for the things that I needed to understand overall. Now I can sew, so I know how to use a sewing machine. It's just that I never did embroidery or had an embroidery sewing machine. And I did try to purchase one last year, but that was an epic fail. I purchased the wrong type of sewing machine. <laughs> um, I needed something that was electronical and could do the work itself. I just needed to um, plug in the text that I wanted to be um, embroidered and have the machine do all the work for me. And that's what I did. I returned that machine and I purchased a new machine in which I will be using for the first time um, in doing embroidery for the first time. Now I came and I looked on YouTube. So now I have everything set up here. I want you guys to see. I have everything set up here. Um, the bobbin, I set the thread up, I set the settings, I set the program up. And what I want to embroider is the word blessed. Um, I chose to do it on some napkins, table napkins. And um, hopefully I'll be able to use it this Thanksgiving um, for my tablescape. So we'll see how this turns out. So everything is set. All I have to do is press this little button here, this little green button here, and it shall start. So you guys will watch me for the first time embroider and see if this works. Let's pray that this works. Here we go. the camera in a little closer so you guys can see. And I'm sure as time goes on and I do this on a regular basis, I will become better at it. But the machine is doing all of the work. Okay, that's the first letter, the B. Now it's moving on to the second letter. Okay, it's coming out pretty good. I chose gray, a dark gray, because I wanted to have a muted look. The napkin is gray, and I just didn't want it to be too bold. But you can choose whatever thread that you would like, whatever color thread you would like. Um, but you must use an embroidery thread. And also, you can change colors. If I wanted to be to be the letter B to be gray and the rest of the letters to be black, I would just have to switch out the thread and continue using the black with the black. So you can do multiple colors. You can use, um, you can key in whatever word you would like to. It's 
pretty good. The only thing about this, I was wondering if I had this on the right side or not. And while I'm looking at this, I think that I may have it on the wrong side. I think I have it the wrong way. I think the fabric should, should be first. And then this white felt paper, which gives it stability, should be underneath. But we'll see. It's just a test drive, so we will see. And I'll know on the next one. Because what I thought is that you do it on the wrong side and when you flip it over, it would be correct but I think now that I'm looking at it I know that I got this wrong this part of it wrong but it's my first try so I'm just gonna go do it again and do it the right way the second time around but I wanted you guys to be on here to watch this so you'll know that if you make a mistake it's okay it's okay if a mistake is made you just go and you try it again and hopefully you get it right on the second try. I didn't want you guys to think that I was perfect at this <laughs> embroidery thing and boom, I got it on the first try or, you know, it didn't take effort for me to get it to work because it did. I had some issues with the setup because I'm learning the saw machine and how to do this at the same time. So it took me a minute to get that set up and it's done and it looks absolutely beautiful i'm going to show you guys how it looks but the only problem is is that i did this part incorrect so i have to make the changes and flip it okay but we're going to show you well i'm going to show you it and click See, my thoughts was that, I'm going to tell you my thoughts. You see how that looks there? It came out correct here. But my thoughts was that when I flipped it, that this, the word blessed will be on the right side going across. Well, to you, it looks correct, right? When you look at it, blessed is on the right side. But when I look at it, it's on the wrong side. Therefore, what I have to do is have this part on the inside here and have this white stuff on the outside here okay but to you guys on camera it looks like I did it right <laughs> okay but this is my first time doing embroidery it came out beautiful I love it but I'm going to try to do it the right way and I'm going to keep practicing on um, doing this until I get it right. And I'm also going to switch colors and try to do something um, with different colors and things like that. And I'll keep you guys posted. But thank you for tuning in to Behind Closed Doors with your host, Mildred. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful Friday. Bye-bye.